All right, it's Casper here again. My third attempt to record this video. The first two times I was almost done, more or less with the first one. And then I found out I didn't have any noise from my microphone. Beautiful. Doesn't matter, I'll happily do it again here. As always, follow me, Twitter, YouTube, subscribe. Make comment, let's have a chat. Do you agree, do you disagree? And uh, yeah, as always, do your own due diligence. These are just my views on the markets. And uh, yeah, that's how I trade, that's how I invest. Hopefully you like it. And uh, let's stick right into the business here. I will do it rather quickly because this is the third time. I hope you are okay with that. Uh, SIL, the, the silver miners, in this blue squeeze here again, overall downward momentum from the 30 weekly. And we cannot celebrate anything until we take out this upper golden rail here, um, really. So uh, we have the lower support coming up here. So hopefully this squeeze that we have there, we will bounce into that around 24 and then we go rocket ship right hopefully that would be a, a great way as long as we go sideways to down here into that long-term support uh, trend line then usually you see a scoop boom like that to the upside hopefully we see the same still today a bit different here we have broken down still in the same triangle the same squeeze here and oh, excuse me and we have broken down retested and hopefully we don't roll all the way over uh, I, why did it excuse me there it is. Again, we have the upper rail here, which is the one to look for. We need to get above roughly $10 in this stock here. The GDX in this blue channel here, below the 30 weekly. And uh, yeah, and really we have, this is the big one to go. This goes back a uh, longer term back to the high from 2011. I mean, until we take that one out, I mean, that's the big one to take out. Obviously we want to resolve this one to the upside. Um, but again, it doesn't look insanely good here again. We have a lot of resistance to take out before we can be happy. Um, but hopefully we'll do that in Q4, uh, where also I think gold will really start to to kick into gear. The juniors, gold juniors, we are in that squeeze after that breakdown here, retest, and you can see we formed this lovely triangle here. Hopefully it shoots to the upside. That would be perfect. Again, until we take out this trend line here, don't celebrate. Um, that's the one that will trigger the momentum. URA, speaking of momentum after the breakout. Breakout, retest, boom, resumption. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The start of the third leg up for Uranium. And uh, look at here, zoom out. I'll not do any more details. You have it in different videos. You can see the detailed analysis on URA. We have the targets here. The 100% measured move from that flag is up here at 80 dollars we are at 25 similar to the urnm this is just stunning stunning price action you know wave one the big pole wave two the consolidation wave three will be way higher beautiful you are in j we don't have much data but anyways we are going in this uptrend channel here after we have taken out tons of resistance on the way you know all this hard work that we did here is now over the easy but easy part is to get to the all-time high there, and then we will probably go higher together with the URNM and URN, uh, URA, excuse me. Excellent. taking a bit of a breather here at the highs, uh, the 22 highs, uh, makes total sense. Um, again, if we flag up here, you wait for a big move right there. The 30 weekly is coming up nicely. So as long as we don't, you know, do a line like this, and the energy sector is perfectly healthy, uh, this is very, very bullish until proven otherwise. There's nothing to say about this, really. Very bullish. This is a weekly chart, remember, very long term. Stunning chart. And a breather here at the highs makes total sense. People are taking profit. So, OYH still sitting on top of this red box, which I actually should make green because it's support now, right? So, and we did do the breakout retest and hopefully resumption. And again, uh, we can. Uh, Maybe relative all the way to the upside here. We are at 350 now, and a move up to the up to here would be like to 700, 800 dollars really uh, for the OIH. The OIH that was a difficult one to say. Capex here, you can see long term support breakdown retest, and now we see if the copper miners really want to break down here. Uh, we don't want to take out this low here. Then we go all the way down to to that right here. Maybe a bit higher at 34. Hopefully, if you're a bull in copper, 
that's the move. I know copper does very well today, like two and a half percent. So hopefully that's that's where we're going. Tan. Good old tanny tan. This part here was not a good breakdown from that bullish triangle right there. We are into support at the lows here at around 56. And uh, we, don't, we haven't done a retest yet. So maybe we get that and we can get back in. And if we lose that one, you are looking at a lot lower prices. Um, and I will add the lines in where I think the lows could be, but uh, if that happens, but still for now, 10 is in trouble here. Uh, and it needs to, when and if we get to the retest, it needs to prove itself uh, to see if there are any balls left really in the solar ETF. Um, fan, I'm not a fan. Uh, again, long-term, uh, I haven't done anything deeper detailed this is what I see, that rising wedge here. And I think if we get down here to like 14, we should see a bounce at that low. And uh, and yeah, um, that's really how I see it. Nothing, nothing major to add to that one here. Windy, however, I think it's very close to a bottom here. We have a big low there, a big low there, and now we have a huge low here at some point. You can see the distance to the 30 weekly, right? It's very deep. And I guess we find the low here and then we shoot back up. Uh, that's my thesis on it. Uh, but again, I'm not buying anything here. I know the wind sector is in big trouble. So, um, Hydrogen. We don't have much data to go with. Doesn't matter. We have a line here connecting these lows there. Beautiful. And we have that one up here. That's the upper one. Um, maybe you could draw it down like here and for a false breakout. But then again, I, I think this one makes makes a bit more sense. An internal squeeze coming over here. And uh, yeah, for, in order for this to go to to be any bullish, you need to break out to the upside and take out this trend line as well. The 30 weekly is coming down here, as you can see. So we have a lot more pressure to the downside. And uh, and yeah, I mean, if this gives in that the support here, you could be looking at a lot lower prices, right? You can actually go all the way down here to around 5.5 if we are in the worst case scenario. Lithium still. Still in that bull flag here. We had a bit of a fake out here where I bought and then I had to sell. You know, my stop loss got hit right there. Uh, I think the lowest point on this chart is right here somewhere. If we get here, uh, then we should look to see if there are any bias. And uh, then I think we have the third impulse lower low uh, in this consolidation triangle. So that would be a technical, almost textbook really. TLT again. Really, really working on that long-term bottom here. Man, if that uh, if this thing starts to move up here, they're way oversold. You can see the divergence here on the RSI as well. If this has a big move before it utterly collapses, which I think, think it will, you know, the debt, uh, you know, the debt market is just completely broken. But we could have one major rally here, like 20, 30 percent. That's also when gold and silver will do insanely well, and also on the way down it will. Um, but let's see. Working on the bottom here, and uh, let's see if we can gain some momentum here. Um, you can see we go we go all back 2011, really. That's quite insane. So we haven't done anything for like, yeah, from 11 until the early 2000s. Jesus. This is the market's REIT ETF still. Maybe some signs of a breakout here. You can see we are just w really working on that line here. Uh, let me zoom in so you have a better view. Can't seem to break it. We need to take out that high here, there for ultimate confirmation. Um, but still, you can see we're just trying to work on that. Uh, we are above the 30 weekly, but it's still curling down a bit here. So we have some shorter time frame, uh, excuse me, longer time frame downward pressure still. However, this is an early move. And uh, and maybe we also have a head and shoulders right there. Let's see. We need to get above, in my view, that 12.5. I called this one. Didn't I? Three weeks ago, looking at the Podex, we are up 50% on the Podex, and some of the companies are up 200, 300%. Beautiful. Again, don't chase it here. Never chase it there. Um, you will get wrecked, in my view, daily, insanely overbought. Uh, any pullback right now, you can buy, really. Um, again, this is a very speculative sector. I don't know if they're doing any regulations in the US with regarding to. To, to new laws and all that good stuff. I don't know, but this is a a stunning breakout. And this is this is basically shorts that are covering and you should see it retrace and then you see the real buying coming in. That's how I see it. 
Uh, I have a position, so I don't do anything really. I think this is the first or second leg up, depending on how you draw it. Uh, so I think there are at least one more leg to go before we have a, a start to form a, a long-term base, really. S-O-X-X, -X, double top, territory, right there you have it. Um, I'm by no means a buyer up here. Uh, these are no split levels. Um, and again, let's see, maybe this is a, a one big uh, cup and handle, who knows, or is it the big double top that will go all the way down to that here at some point in time? I don't know. I am not buying into the sector at all. I just look at it here and say, well, this look very, looks very toppy to me um, for the first time in 10 years or so. XLF, XLF, which is the banking sector. The banking sector. How do you look? Let's see. Again, the white one here is the high from 2011. This is the golden trend line. Peak out and, and a bigger peak out here, fake out, and now we're back below. Let's just go quickly on the daily to see what's happening on the daily, just to get a bit more detail. There is your bear flag. That's the bear flag. And again, the pressure is to the downside again after we came back below that trend line. Um, so yeah, let's see. Can we get above and stay there for a while? Obviously, that gives it some hope. But I think the banking sector is struggling, and I just think we need a bit more time before we really start to curl down. Anyways, we have to get it get get it proved uh, first, right, or confirmed first. So, but this is a bear flag, no matter how you look at it. So, uh, so yeah, the big level to, if we lose the bear flag, we go down to the 2011 high. You can see it all the way down here, right? And again, I don't think it will hold. I think it will snap down. And when it does, you will see banks in trouble, big time. XLRE, the real estate. Still at support here, support, support, support. And right now it's very close. You know, it's a close fight between the bulls and the bears for the real estate sector. Losing this low here at, let's call it 35, then the bears will win. Taking out this high here at 39, the bulls will win. That's really how simple it is, uh, in my view. Who will win? I don't know. Right now, we have a bit more downward pressure compared to to, to, to upside um, buying. Anyways, let's see what happens over the next month, a half, two months maybe. Uh, but this will be a big, 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 big move when it happens. Just saying. Uh, XME, the metals and mining ETF, still have the overall head and shoulders formation. Again, we haven't... Um, uh, broken that neckline at all actually we are trying to ever since we broke up from that wedge here we are trying to take the uh, break through the 53 dollar level with also you can see there a head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders excuse me this is the head and shoulders that's the inverted one and again if we can take out that golden trend line here then i think this overall bigger head and shoulders will be negated at some point in time uh, but again, we have to prove it. We have to get the confirmation before we can say, yay, it didn't break down. It can easily just drop down, tag the neckline, and then boom, go further down. Alrighty, last but not least, the XOE long-term. Long-term is a beautiful chart. When I look at these things, I get happy. I get excited. Uh, again, we haven't confirmed it yet at all, but when we do, we will be buying big time here. Long-term. Long, long, long term, inverted head and shoulders. Uh, you hear it a lot, but there's no denying that, that this is your big, possibly the big head and shoulders. And we are currently in a shorter term uptrend after we took out that triangle squeeze right there. We had an internal here, which we called, by the way, and said we would go all the way up and tag this, that one here. And we did. I expected a bigger pullback than this, but clearly we're just above again. And now we are in a green daily uptrend here for the XOP. Right there. That's your beautiful uptrend after all this breakout retesting and then test. Yeah, technically it was perfection, really. Uh, I love it when you, when the technicals are just on point, more or less. Uh, beautiful uptrend. Again, as long as we are above that golden wedge triangle here, the upper trend line, the path of least resistance is the high there or, you know, the major high here at the uh, at the neckline. Um, 
which we will reach, and then we'll probably see a bit of a pullback there before blasting higher. Again, if this happens, this also coincides with oil going way higher. Um, it is what it is. I have I have added in here the, the nominal scale head and shoulders target there at around 300, and the bigger one at 1,000, meaning the percentage one. Let me show you. There it is, 500%. Oh, I didn't align it perfectly. There it is, roughly 1,000. If we get to that, that would be insane. Let's see where we go. Let's see what happens. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I love doing these. So again, subscribe if you're not sub uh, a subscriber. Uh, that just makes me even more happy. As always, any questions, do it in the comments below. We will see you in the next one. Oh, and please check out the two uranium videos I did today, this morning. US... Canada miners and the other one was the Australian miners. Cheers.